reading the news this morning, Steve, and there is so much suffering all around the world that I can't imagine how difficult it would be to face the day if you don't have God to trust in, to comfort and guide you at every moment. Yes, Michelle, conflicts rage around the world. Natural disasters continue to mount. It is very sad to see what's happening every single day. There are wars, displacing people, disrupting lives, destroying properties, and creating many difficulties for those directly involved, as well as collateral damage and challenges for many in other countries. Financial systems already strained show signs of much greater problems ahead, inflation, rising interest rates, and supply chain issues demonstrate the weakness of humans in solving these problems. Political systems and leaders continue to struggle for power and dominance. Natural disasters abound and stretch the response systems of even the more stable countries. It is truly incredible. And amid these increasing challenges and difficulties, the work of spreading the three angels' messages must go forward. We cannot wait for times to get easier and for circumstances to improve. The Gospel Commission calls us to move forward even now. The cries of the people around the world demands our full and faithful involvement. Souls are perishing. What will we do? What a question. I believe that we need to pray more, we need to ask for the Holy Spirit daily, and we need to look for God's will and follow it. Because God wants us to be involved in mission, helping our brothers and sisters worldwide, reaching more souls for His kingdom. As you said, Michelle, it demands our full and faithful involvement and commitment. Right. We all need to work together. We need to join our efforts and allow God to make miracles, opening doors and touching hearts, because we cannot finish the work without divine power. That's correct. More and more lay people are needed to advance together. And that's biblical too. We can find in the Bible that Jesus told a parable of the farmer who needed more workers and hired them in the morning and throughout the day. In the evening, he came to the marketplace and found others still idle. In Matthew 20 verse 6, he asked, Why stand ye here all the day idle? In Luke 10 2, Jesus declares, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Michelle, the work of Outpost Centers International is to help establish a thriving network of sustainable lay ministries in every country of the world. You are needed, my friend, to help proclaim the three angels' messages as it says in Revelation chapter 14, verse 6, to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, so that Jesus can soon return and truly solve the problems of this world. Amen. When Jesus reigns, sin and sadness will be no more. Join the mission and help spread the gospel to the entire world. I've had the privilege of establishing a number of live-in wellness centers around the world. If you're wanting to establish a wellness center or a medical missionary school, finding the right property is critical to success. First, look for rural properties away from the busy cities. Sick people heal better physically and spiritually in a peaceful environment. Students can thrive in a country setting and gardens and orchards, they're more important now than ever before. When possible, find properties that, that have already been established. If the building can be made usable and you've got water and electricity and septic systems already in existence, this gives you a great starting advantage. The property does not have to be large. In America, we have a number of institutions with hundreds of acres, but in Europe, other countries, even 20 acres is proven adequate. If you're calling, is for city evangelism, like vegetarian restaurants, health food stores, treatment rooms. 
watch for providences. City business properties are often available by lease only and are expensive. You may want to consider starting small where your staff and your operational needs are minimal. If conducted correctly, city ministries are like a two-edged sword, helping your customers to the kingdom through your educational programs and by referring them to the Country Wellness Center for extended help. Whether you're called to minister for people's needs in the country setting or in the middle of some metropolis, I recommend to you the three S's that through the years has guided me. Start small, start simple, and pray that you can start soon. If you know what God wants you to do, then you cannot fail. However, succeeding in raising a ministry demands knowledge and talent supplemented by godly counsel based on practical experience. Start Right will provide the impetus needed to make an informed start. Therefore, be diligent to present yourself approved to God. A worker who does not need to be ashamed. You cannot but succeed. Download it now. Today, we will share a beautiful testimony from Galeana in Mexico. As we can see on the map, Mexico's population is over 130 million. This country has 163 people per every Seventh-day Adventist church member. And we have an OCI member ministry there. Nestled in a beautiful valley is Centro Misionero de Salud, or CMS, which means Health Missionary Center. CMS has been in operation since 1995. The founder, Jaime and Marjorie Espinal, continue to pioneer this work by faith, focusing on three areas, evangelism, health, and education. The lifestyle program at CMS provides natural healing for its guests. Through the preparation of specific diets, the application of natural therapies, physical exercise, the kindness of the staff, and most of all, through God's blessing, guests find health and hope for a better lifestyle. CMS also offers a medical missionary training program that provides practical training for Mexican and international students. The curriculum includes agriculture, true education, music, nutrition, natural therapies, evangelism, administration, self-supporting principles, and more. In addition to this program, the ministry also holds a course designed to prepare families wanting to serve God full-time in ministry. The team is excited to see more and more families starting their own self-supporting ministry. Another part of CMS outreach consists of a health zone in town that includes a vegetarian restaurant, health food store, natural treatments, and publications all under one roof, promoting a healthy lifestyle in the community. CMS's ultimate goals are to share Jesus' plan of salvation and hasten the Lord's soon coming. Let's see what they have to tell us today. Nosotros llegamos al Centro Misionero en el año 2016. Verdaderamente fue un milagro que pudiéramos llegar allí porque hasta el día de hoy me parece increíble la manera en que llegamos. Nosotros no teníamos recursos para poder llegar allí, ya que todo lo que lo poco que ganábamos lo gastábamos en en, en drogas, ya que vivíamos en un mundo de adicciones. Pues yo comencé a drogarme a los 14 años de edad y duré 14 años en, con problemas de adicciones. Durante algún tiempo yo intenté, intenté por mi propia voluntad, por, por mis propias fuerzas intentar de dejar las, las drogas, pero nunca lo concebí. Hasta que llegó una tía mía que es adventista del séptimo día y me empezó a dar estudios bíblicos. Y ella me comentó sobre el Centro Misionero de Salud que esa sería una, una opción en la que yo pudiera salir en el entorno donde yo me encontraba. 
decidimos ir para allá, ya que nosotros deseamos cambiar nuestra vida, pero no sabíamos cómo hacerlo ni a quién pedir ayuda. Entonces, gracias a Dios que el Espíritu Santo tocó a nuestra tía dentista y ella nos apoyó para llegar al Centro Misionero. Cuando llegué al Centro Misionero de, de Salud, eh, fue, era totalmente diferente a los centros de rehabilitación en los que yo había estado. Eran programas de actividades y tanto actividades físicas como también espirituales, conforme me estaban dando los tratamientos, las terapias, eh, estudiábamos la Biblia y fue así como me, me empezó a interesar mucho y decidí bautizarme en el Centro Misionero de Salud. Fue un proceso de rehabilitación en el cual nos ayudaron por medio de una alimentación saludable, de masajes, de hidroterapias, baños de vapor y pues el aire libre, ¿verdad? Y el campo nos ayudó mucho, la naturaleza en la que vivíamos, la tranquilidad y la paz que encontramos allí, nunca la encontramos en otro lugar. Después de dos meses de estar como pacientes, nos gustó estar allí y gracias a Dios se nos dio la oportunidad de quedarnos a tomar el curso de misioneros médicos de salud. Nosotros llegamos al centro misionero como pacientes por dos meses, ya que no sabíamos al lugar a donde íbamos, ¿verdad? Ni sabíamos si nos íbamos a sentir a gusto, si nos iba a gustar, pero cuando llegamos allí nos dimos cuenta de que el lugar era un ambiente muy sano. Estuvimos muy, muy a gusto conviviendo como familia. O sea, nunca había disfrutado mi hija. El estar con mi hija nunca lo había disfrutado hasta que llegamos al centro misionero como que si... Fue un cambio total en mi vida. Cuando decidí irme al centro misionero, o sea, yo, yo fui porque sentía la necesidad de, de, de cambiar mi vida. Pues fue una bendición llegar al centro misionero. Poder ser rescatados por, por Dios, ¿verdad? Y, este, y el día de hoy, pues, estar sanos. Y ahora nuestros planes, pues, son este, posiblemente regresar al centro misionero como colaboradores. Y si algún día se nos da la oportunidad, ir a otros centros misioneros en otros países. Muchas de las cosas que aprendimos en el centro misionero fueron como agricultura, hidroterapia, panadería, alimentación saludable. Bien, pues yo le doy gracias a Dios por el Centro Misionero de Salud y pues le agradezco también a, la, a los directores, a las personas que están dirigiendo ese lugar porque me ayudaron mucho y transformaron mi vida, cambiaron mi, uh, cambiaron mi familia, cambiaron todo. Y pues le doy gracias a Dios y al Centro Misionero de Salud. Verdaderamente Dios utiliza el Centro Misionero de Salud como un instrumento para ayudar a las personas que verdaderamente tenemos la voluntad y el deseo de cambiar, ¿verdad? Y, este, pues, y cuando uno tiene el deseo y la voluntad, se puede con la ayuda de Dios. God is still in action. He is still performing miracles in many lives and in every country. We just watched how the lives of Malu and Juan Carlos were changed by God's grace, and how God uses his missionaries in this ministry in Mexico to impact people. As we mentioned earlier, we need the divine power. We cannot do a thing without him. But friends, please don't forget that he can also use you to help do the work. That work that the angels actually want to do. What a privilege to be part of God's mission. You don't want to lose the blessing of being one of the laborers of the great harvest. Please pray, consecrate your life to the Lord, and get in touch with us if you want to work together for God's people that are looking for love and hope.